Hello, how y'all doing? Um, this is Mongo Slade, and today we're going to talk about um, Marco Stunt doing a dildo spot at an indie show. So over the weekend of October the 9th, 10th, and 11th um, of 2020, Marco Stunt performed at one of these uh, GCW, The Collective shows. For people who don't know, The Collective was, again, three shows. It was Joey Janela's Spring Break, the main event, which which was uh, ACH and uh, Leo Rush. The second show was Somebody's Get Big Gay Brunch, uh, which featured Marco Stunt wrestling some guy, and they did a dildo spot. We'll get to that in a moment. And the main... and. The Blood Sport, Josh Barnett's Blood Sport was the third event of the GS, GCW Collective event weekend. And um, that show featured John Moxie versus Chris Dickinson. So we're going to talk specifically about this, this big gay brunch and sort of the response that came out of it. So there was a gentleman who was angry at the Marco Stunt big gay brunch thing. And um, he essentially said that he, he added... Tony Khan and AEW and TNT and said, basically, you need to watch what your performers are doing on the indies because they need to be more professional. They're doing a lot of unprofessional stuff and professionalism is very important in the wrestling business and that wrestling is a business. It's not a hobby. And uh, a lot of people were on his side, but also a lot of people attacked him. I'm not going to say who this guy was because it's not important. So the, the thing is, uh, the, for the, the spot will be on the screen. I will be deciding, you know, I, I, there will be a still picture and there will be also be a short gif. It'll be about five seconds. Um, for people who may just be listening, you're not watching. This is what happened. Uh, Marco stunt was in a prone position laying on his stomach. Uh, the, the guy seemed to be trying to force Marco stunts face onto this dildo and Marco stunt pushed a button that's on the side of the dildo, sort of the, like a, it, just, just say it's a button. And something squirted out of the dildo into the man's face. And then the man, of course, sold it and flopped and all that type of stuff. And there were people who were offended by this. Uh, rightfully so. Like I said, it was one guy in particular who was, you know, trying to get the attention of Tony Khan and TNT. And I said to myself, that is absolutely degenerate as fuck. Um, at the same time, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I try to be fair about things. One... I 100% agree with the guy that wrestling is a business. It's not a job. It's not a hobby. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a business. It's not a hobby. So you should hire people who are professionals at the same time. If you watched a show called the big gay brunch, you got what you deserved. Okay. End of story. If you watched a show called the big gay brunch, you probably was looking for this kind of stuff. Now, there's a lot of us, people like me, who did not want to see this. Uh, there's a lot of people who in the audience probably were not expecting to see something like that. Uh, and it is highly sexualized. It is highly sexually charged. That is a problem. Um, Marco Stunt looks like a 12-year-old boy. That's another problem <laughs> with the whole ordeal, even though we know that he's an adult. But uh, he, he looks like a, a, a small child, which is also a problem for some people who might not know how, not know how, how old he is. Um, so you have this this situation. And so I, I try to be fair about it. But fairness kind of goes out of the window when I see a lot of people defending this. Um, now, of course, there are going to be people who are going to defend it. I mean, obviously, people like this kind of parody pseudo wrestling. They kind of like it. They want they want to see more of it. They think it needs to be on TV and all that type of stuff. Same time, these people are offended by the attitude era about lingerie pillow fights and puppies. And, you know, anytime you have to see Alexa Bliss's shoulders or something like that. Why is she so sexualized? I can't believe they're doing such sexual stuff. Or they, they're upset at the idea of a you know of a of a photo shoot or you know um it, it just seems real ridiculous that the sexualizing that we can do only equates to we do you can do homosexual stuff and, and of course some of the same people also were 100 percent behind joey ryan's dick flip about this time last year when people were complaining about joey ryan's dick flip being stupid and also being gay and people were like, oh, you just let people have fun. What are you talking about? Let them have fun. It's supposed to be fun. It's wrestling. And then at the same time, you know, when when people were having fun with, of course, like I said, lingerie pillow fights, it wasn't funny. Oh, it's not fun. 
when uh, DX was doing asking young women to pull their pull their um pull the tits out, all of a sudden, oh no, we can't believe we're sexualizing just young girls. This is not cool. And it's like you have to when you don't have any morals, you have no moral core at all. You can't lecture people about what should be there and what shouldn't be there. I can agree. Like, okay, maybe maybe Shawn Michael shouldn't be doing pseudo blowjob spots where he's pretending to suck people's dicks. We shouldn't be doing that. It has no place in wrestling. I 100% agree. Therefore, we should also say dick flips and dildo spots that should not uh, should not happen. If you want to say there's no place for lingerie pillow fights, there shouldn't be no place for twerking in the wrestling ring, especially men twerking. Okay, that this includes exoticos and men dressed as women and all this type of stuff. Now, look, I've been I've been falling into this stuff a lot lately because as as you know, as I kind of go, you know, look for different things to talk about, I do come across uh, different types of shit like this. And this type of stuff, this dildo type stuff, this exotico kind of stuff, it's common. Like I told I told you guys before about the drag queen stuff that I found. You know, it's stuff like this. It's stuff just like this, where it's dildos being shoved in butts, um, people slapping each other with dildos. It's highly sexualized. It's over. It's completely over the top. It's not serious at all. And there's no sport to it. There's no artistic element to it. Look, if, if no matter which your opinion on whether pro wrestling is a sport or whether it's art, there is no place for dildos. There really is no place for it. What, what good is it going to do? You know, it's not it's not really a weapon. So what is what what artistic merit does it have? It has no sporting merit at all. But what artistic merit does it have? So it's really it really just doesn't benefit the sports element or the artistic element of pro wrestling. It really has no place in it. Now, by this time in the video, I will have showed the clips for people who, you know, come six minutes in. I probably don't have much, that much more to say, but. You would have seen the clip numerous times by now. You know, ask yourself if you were a wrestling fan, if you were a young kid and you saw that, would you want to continue watching wrestling? And you saw somebody playing around with dildos, squirting stuff in people's faces. Would you want to keep watching it? No. At the same time, though, I, I will agree. I will can I will beat this people over the head with this. If you ordered this show, you should not be mad. People who should be mad are the people who are not looking for this shit. People like me. I do not. I don't even know the names of these people. I just knew that the events were taking place. You know, because I had to look up and see what, you know, what took place in order to do the video to sound intelligent about what the hell happened. There is no context in which a dildo makes sense in a wrestling match. It just doesn't, you know. So other than you, you had an event that's called the Big Gay Brunch. There's two men in the ring and there's a dildo. I mean, it is what it is. You know, if you ordered that event, you were kind of asking for it. At the same time, I think you should stop calling it pro wrestling if that's what you want to do. If you want to do uh, dildos and, you know, twerk contests and skeeting all over each other and that type of stuff, man, please don't call it wrestling. Call it something else. And look, I'm just not against the, the highly sexualized homosexual stuff. I'm also against what the fuck took place uh, at the spring break show. Because I'm pretty sure I saw clips of that where it was degenerate ass deathmatch shit. Where you have two fat, pasty white, pasty white dudes stabbing each other with chopsticks and fiberglass and all types of other shit. You know, these fiberglass breathing weirdos have no place in the business. You just don't. It's look, you, you, you there is no benefit to it. There is no artistic element to it. And then there is no sport to it. What good is it? It. it it serves no purpose. Okay. I, I ask what I'm against. I'm against shit that really does not serve any artistic purpose. It doesn't, it doesn't tell me about a character. It doesn't tell me about anything. I mean, I guess, I guess a dildo can tell me about a character. I guess a light, a fluorescent light tube could tell me about a character, but really do I need to know that what that character is? If the only way that they can express themselves in storyline is through dildos and through fluorescent light tubes, Look, it is what it is, man. People are, look, I know that pro wrestling is a is a DIY thing. You do it your way. And but you have to realize also there's going to be people who did not pay to see this shit who are going to end up seeing it and have a problem with it. And it it will turn people off. And people will eventually try to get you fired from your job. And I can 100% disagree with that. 
You know, the guy who's trying to get Marco Stunt taken off TV or whatever, or atta uh, attaching Tony Khan to this stuff, please don't do that. Just do, just make everybody know, like, hey, this guy did a crazy dildo spot. We don't participate in this shit. If we want to, I'm not, if I was running a wrestling show, I wouldn't hire him. You know, that, and that'd just kind of be it. But these people have been into this stuff for a while now. You know, it started with Joey Ryan. You know, Joey Ryan is, you know, it is what it is. Like, they, they, they do sleazy wrestling. That's what they do. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You've probably seen the clip by now because i played it probably numerous times. I also have a steel photo that should have been running this whole time. Just let me know what you guys think, man. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, donate, like, shake, scare, share, and subscribe. All right, peace.